Hello, I'm Lee from Data Harvest, and today we're going to show you our wireless Bluetooth magnetic field sensor working with our EasySense 2 software. There's quite a few things you can use this for, but the one we're going to do today is the Earth's magnetic field, showing you in two different ways. Uh, other experiments you can do this for, it's also used for study of magnetic fields around electromagnets and fixed magnets, for instance. So that will be on other videos to follow in due course. So, magnetic field sensor here. So what you have, not that you can see right from the back on there, but if you go to our website, you see clearly you've got X, Y, and X, Y, and Z all around on there for the different ways you want to do it. So you have one there, one there, and one on the side. It's got two ranges, plus or minus five milliteslas and plus or minus 130 milliteslas. For the Earth's magnetic field, we're just going to be doing the five millitesla range to date. So for this to work, for the first one, I'm actually going to face this north, do 360 degrees with it going round so we can see the graph going up and going down. But to start, you need to find out which way north is. So what we've got already, I have my phone here already. I have found what, where north is. So I remember where north is. Ruler's raw is handy. So that line on the bottom there is going to be where north is. Now, going to go and open the EasySense 2 software. To turn the Bluetooth sensor on, it's USB and Bluetooth. So you can just hold the button down the bottom for two seconds and it's now broadcasting Bluetooth. Now our EasySense 2 software will only pick up data harvest Bluetooth devices. So it won't pick up anything else broadcasting Bluetooth, only our devices. So I now click, oh, I now put that down on there. Now go and click on the devices icon. Just do a refresh on there and it will now pick up the magnetic field. What I should have also said, on the front is a six digit number. So because you can obviously have more than one of these in the classroom at once, how would you know whose is whose? So therefore it always comes up with the name of the sensor and then those six digits unique to the sensor that you are using. So this one finishes 307. I can now go and click on connect. Now to start off with, it's gonna open up automatically with X, Y, and Z. I only want to use Y to start off with, so I'm just going to have Y switched on. I don't need to do anything else. I can just click start. Now, because there's metal work in the desk under here, it will actually affect it. So don't just turn it flat on there, lift it up. If you have got metal work under your desk in school, which you are highly likely to have, I'm just gonna do it in the air, go 360 degrees. So I'm facing north just here. Now I'm going to click start. So I'm now going round from one to the other, so you can see plus and minus. So it works very simply like that. Now to start off with on the screen, you can see it's not on zero. I didn't tear it to start off with. So that is one way to do it, but you can also tear all our sensors. So I'm just gonna go back and tear and do a second time. So we're now tearing down to zero. Just go to file and do new lab. So the most common thing people do is they forget to tear. So I wanted to show you both ways on there. So if you do want to tear it, you can do that as well. So we start again, and we now go around, not too fast, 360 degrees. I click on stop, put that down. Now you can't see it too much at the moment because it doesn't move too much, but if you click on the word magnetic field on the Y axis, go to where it says default range and click on min max, you can now show on the screen superbly the magnetic field as you turn. Now, if you want to smooth it, remember you have the smoothen option at the top. You can just smooth that very slightly to show it like so. Now that's one way to pick up the, the Earth's magnetic field, but you can also put your arm and go up and down like that. So you're going to 90 degrees if you want to, but on the desk here, you can easily just do it like this and do 90 degrees on here as well. But this time you're going to need to use Z rather than Y. So what we do now is we just go to file, go to new lab, you don't wanna save any of the data, that's fine. Go to uh, devices, this time turn off Y and turn on Z. And again, it's best just, it is pretty much zero this time, but just tear it again just in case, it just makes it look a little better. So again, don't do it too close to the desk because the metal work in the desk can affect it again. So just come up a little bit here, we click start, so we go up 90 degrees and we come back down again. Click stop, go to where it says magnetic field again, default range, min max, so you can see that. And again, if you want to smooth it, it's up to you. But if you smooth it slightly, there you go again, 
you can see the other angle of the Earth's magnetic field. Thank you very much. Now there are lots more videos on our secondary academy. So we do have three uh, videos in three sections. How, how to use the Bluetooth sensor, how to use the Bluetooth sensor with the experiment and how to use the EasySense 2 software. So go to our website, which is data-harvest.co.uk. But if you'd like more information, please contact us here at sales at data-harvest.co.uk. Thank you very much.